to this chariot take us take the stage lord and have your way i'm just a vessel and nothing more when you are done please take the glory i'm satisfied just to see you glorified take the stage lord and have your way I'm just a vessel and nothing more when you are done please take the glory I'm satisfied just to see you glorify and so father we thank you take the stage tonight I am just a vessel and nothing more please when you are done take all the glory for we are satisfied just to see you glorified in the name of Jesus hallelujah amen Word and prayer week. Hallelujah. I'm just giving a charge so that we pray. Hallelujah. I believe strongly that praying five minutes with understanding is powerful than praying two hours with understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says that they pray and they don't receive answers. Why? They pray wrongly. Hallelujah. So in as much as our time is fast spent, going through the word of God to see the will of God for this week so that we can pray with understanding is very, very important. Hallelujah. Praying long with no understanding is just dispensing of energy but praying with understanding is a way that we impact life hallelujah our theme for the week is revive us oh lord for the work of the ministry revive us oh god for the work of the ministry Usha your team now your key words first one here revive second one here work third one here ministry now revival no if you look at the meaning of the revival it says that to return to life I you are about to say we shall revive it means that that pain has existed before but now the oppression of that thing is limited hallelujah so it happens to all of us it can be that in the days of your youth you were a vibrant prayer warrior but now maybe you don't see all those things in your life that is what our team is saying that revive us oh god so that we will be active and nobody who is not revived is not active the moment that you see inactiveness you run for revival and this revival is not done just because you attended the crusade hallelujah so return to life revive return to life and I pray that by the end of this week even today's service somebody's life it doesn't matter all areas of our life will receive life hallelujah hallelujah work another meaning of name that we can give it to work is that we lay
labor. Oh, yeah, Juma. You are active. Hallelujah. You labor. You are revived to work. To your work, no, I labor. And our last word in your ministry. Ministry, it is a now. Or let me say a name given to an entity or institution for the service they render. It's a name given to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so far as you are part of this kingdom of God and we are rendering services, you are part of the ministry of God. Hallelujah. So our team says, revive us. Oh Lord for the work of the ministry. Adia ba kuna mbasi yanshani ya mumpai. We cannot talk about revival without referring to the days of revival. The Bible says that in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh that our young sons and daughters will begin to prophesy. Our old women and men will begin to dream. And the young men will start having visions. And tonight, one of the tools that revive men is what I'm talking about so that we can pray. It's called young men will see visions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We were not born or you are not born to do everything. You are born to do something. Hallelujah. And until you catch the revelation of that which you are born to do. You will never be able to achieve to the maximum aim why you were brought on earth. Hallelujah. I'm not born to do everything, but I'm born to do something. One of the things that we have to notice is that Adia Yawo and say Yembe Yeno. It is not here that we are going to determine what we will do. Hallelujah. So parents here, what God has given you as babies or children, they are born such a time like this for this generation to dispense a purpose. Hallelujah. And until we catch that mission about that child, we will continue to let them fulfill our desires. When I was preparing this, the Holy Spirit prompted me something. He says that nowadays, if you look at the youth, what they are pursuing is the desires of their parents. You see, it is a hard truth, but that is the truth. We are no more taking time to spend with God to know why this child was given to me. And most of the times, it looks as if we have their children and we are giving them to God. But have you not forgotten? Have you forgotten? They said that you are a steward. Who gave it to you? So that you can help be a steward, a coach for that child to fulfill that which he was born to do. Hallelujah. I don't know the vision that God has shown you about your children. But if you have none, God is calling us to that place where parents will see before the children come. Hallelujah. The ministry we are talking about means service. And I mean, we say, Oko school, we are so very service. The entire abide is so very service. And he said, Or did this, or did we be a song? And in fact, that you couldn't be a song of mine. Hallelujah. And the idea, the idea, so I'm going to do the air and by your service. And if we are talking about the service of God, it means that God knows that He has placed something in us that we can use to serve. And until we find out what He plays in you, I tell you, you can be a walking gear, but 
it is not recorded in the times of eternity God is not aware and do you find out what he, he engineered in your system that you will lose to sell whatever thing that you are doing is it will end in time hallelujah it will end in time so it is very necessary that we press into vision we press to catch revelational truth about our lives we press to catch a revelational truth about our children so that we will not force them to fulfill what we want last time I met you I me about friend be none papa person on your doctor did you papa need your be a sabo fan of your doctor so about friend need do some stage be and he was nominated as one of the best doctors and he had a man award on your boy need not go friend to one so and you person say ah now then you have a man award African, you know, to an ocean. He says, I've never been myself. Say that I'm somebody, I don't know myself. My daddy showed me a way that I can fulfill his desires, but that which is in me that I will use to serve my generation has been abandoned because of lack of vision.